I just spent an entire week swapping my blog from Gatsby to Astro, and I'm glad I did, but you probably shouldn't do the same. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name is Kyle, and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. And you probably didn't even know I have a blog, but I do, and I have over 100 articles on my blog. I'll link it down in the description for you. And I started that blog about two and a half years ago to go along with the newsletter that I started at the time. And I include a lot of content in there that's similar to my YouTube content, but I also include articles over there that just don't make very good YouTube videos and I find they work better in text form. So I make those into blogs instead of making them into YouTube videos. So if you want the full teaching I have, definitely go check out that blog. Also, it'll be a good example to see what Astro blogs can look like. Now, you're probably wondering, why did I swap from Gatsby to Astro? And why am I saying that you probably shouldn't? So first, I'm going to cover why I swapped and then why you shouldn't. The reason why I swapped from Gatsby to Astro was because I ran into tons of problems with Gatsby. When I first created my blog with Gatsby about two years ago, it worked fine. Everything was great, super quick. It was really easy to get started with, and I was really glad I used it. I then, you know, made more and more and more blog articles, and eventually I started customizing my Gatsby site to add things such as tagging and searching and filtering and a couple other custom things like social sharing options and things like that. Just nice quality of life features. But I added all of those awesome things into it, and everything was running really smoothly until probably about two-ish months ago when I started releasing blog articles and I noticed that a lot of the stuff in my articles was broken. Now, this is a problem that most people that use Gatsby probably never run into, but I run into it a lot because I use a lot of custom code in my articles. I write all of my articles using MDX, which allows me to write custom HTML and even custom React components that get injected into my markdown files and then can render out into my HTML. And a lot of my more complex blog articles, I have custom React components built for them, so that way there's interactive examples of exactly what's going on that make my blog articles just a step above your average article. But the problem was that some of these articles that had this custom code in them were starting to get broken. And it wasn't that my code was broken, it was that the compiler that was taking the markdown files and converting them to HTML, that Gatsby compiler, was failing to compile my files correctly. And I spent days trying to figure out what was broken, what was causing these issues. And every single time it seemed to be completely random and nothing at all related to my code or poor formatting or anything like that. It was just the compiler didn't know what to do. And I tried and tried and tried, but every new article I released with custom code in it was broken and I would have tons of problems I needed to fix and it became such a headache. I would spend one to two days solid just trying to fix the bugs that came up with these articles. So I decided, you know what, enough is enough. I'm going to try to find a platform that doesn't have these problems, but is also really easy to use like Gatsby. And I looked at a bunch of different options, you know, something like a Next.js blog. I looked at a few other Gatsby-like sites, but I ended up choosing Astro. And the main reason I chose Astro was because it was really simple to get started with, at least that's what I said, and it was entirely what I wanted. I just wanted a simple static site blog. I didn't want anything fancy with Next.js. I didn't need all the backend stuff. I just wanted something simple I could deploy to Netlify. And Astro seemed like the perfect fit for that the only issue is that Astro is very early in its development days. It's still kind of in a beta, non-stable release version, and I have a pretty large blog. I mean, I have over 100 articles, which while by some comparisons is not that big, but when you're swapping over to a new untested program, that's a pretty big blog to be swapping over, and I was bound to encounter a lot of problems, and I definitely did. And this is the main reason I say that you shouldn't switch. The reason I switched is because Gatsby did not work for me. Nothing I could do would fix it. I tried updating Gatsby to the latest version. I tried all these different changes and nothing I could do would fix this problem. It was just inherently something wrong with the compiler. I had no idea what it was and I didn't feel like trying to deal with it and figure it out anymore. I had to switch. But if you have a system that's working, don't switch over to something like Astro that's brand new because you're going to run into a lot of headaches. And I definitely did. But overall, I'm glad I made the switch. And one of the main things I ran into was just bugs with the platform. There was a lot of bugs with their compiler in their platform. For example, one really big bug that was super simple I ran into was that if I had a table and I wanted to render out rows in that table and I wanted to render out items in those rows, well, I was creating essentially a table and I was dynamically putting the content into the rows. But if I put one piece of content in the row, just one single column, it worked fine. And if I added any more than one piece of content into the row, it broke. Something with the compiler just didn't know how to handle that. So I, of course, submitted a bug request for this. I put an issue on their GitHub, and luckily they were able to fix this within a few days. I mean, that was pretty impressive, but still, I ran into that bug, and I spent probably four-ish hours of my own time trying to figure out what was wrong with my code, because I thought my code was broken, when in reality, it was something with Astro that was broken. And I ran into a lot of small bugs like that. 
not too many, but enough that I had to kind of tweak around how I was doing certain things. For example, one bug I ran into that wasn't too hard to work around, but was kind of a pain, was I couldn't pass objects or arrays to JSX components inside my markdown files. It just didn't know how to compile that. So I had to change all of those objects and arrays that I was passing. I had to convert them to strings. And then inside my component, I had to take that and then I had to convert it back to a JavaScript object or an array. So it was kind of a pain. I had to serialize it as a string and then unserialize it in my component. It was just kind of ugly and I wish I didn't have to do that, but it was just the workaround I had to do. Also, I had to completely relearn how to do everything in Astro. Like I said, Astro was pretty easy. It had pretty much everything included to start with, but I had to relearn how to do certain things in Astro. For example, there's these Astro components that they use, which are different than, you know, React, Svelte, or Vue. They're their own thing, and I had to kind of learn how that works. Also with Astro, you can use any front end framework you want. In my case, I was using React. I actually ended up switching over to Preact just because I didn't need any of the fancy React stuff for my small components but I was able to use Preact and I mostly converted all of my components that didn't have any client side JavaScript. I converted them to Astro components just so that they wouldn't load the entire React library if I didn't actually need it. So that was pretty easy to do for the most part. Converting from React to Astro wasn't too bad for these small little components. The thing where I ran into a lot of problems though is I was using quite a few Gatsby plugins for things like code highlighting and other things like that. And these plugins didn't exist in Astro because Astro was pretty new and they didn't exist in Markdown because they were for Gatsby only. So I had to essentially write my own plugins to fill the space where those plugins were. And I had to do this because I had over 100 blog articles using these plugins and I had specific code in my Markdown files that was for these plugins. And I wasn't about to go through 100 different blog articles and change all of the code inside of them. So instead I had to write my own custom plugins for Markdown that were covering these specific use cases I had that Gatsby had fixed, but I didn't have fixed in Astro. And I'm sure you know, in a year from now when Astro is much more solidified and more mainstream and stable, there's probably gonna be plugins for this, but at the time of writing this blog, I didn't have any of those. Another issue that I ran into a little bit was porting over all my custom code. Like I said, I added tagging and searching and social sharing options to my Gatsby site. None of these were built into Astro though. So I had to port that custom code over, which was using like GraphQL and React because that's what Gatsby's built in. And I had to convert those over to using Astro and not GraphQL. I was using like the Astro version of this. So that was a little bit tricky making sure I got everything converted over properly. I ended up using Preact for a lot of it, but just getting that conversion process done was pretty tricky. And there was actually quite a few things that I couldn't port over properly. The main one being that on my Gatsby blog, I had a link at the very bottom of every blog article that went to the previous article and to the next article. Well, with the way Astro was built, I couldn't actually add those links into the page because it would cause an infinite loop where it would try to render a page. And then in order to render that page, I would have to query all of the different blog articles. And to query all the blog articles, it would have to render the page. And it would just constantly loop like that because I couldn't query just the next and previous article. I had to query all the articles or none of them, which was causing this infinite loop and it wouldn't render properly. Now, I know I've talked a bunch about why swapping to something that's new like Astro is a bad idea, but overall, for being such a new library, the experience with working with Astro was actually quite enjoyable, and it only took me a week to convert over a blog that had over 100 articles from Gatsby to Astro. And in my opinion, that's pretty impressive, especially considering the amount of custom code that I have written. About 20-ish percent of my blog articles, so one in every five, has some type of custom React or HTML component built into it. And most blogs not going to have that. So the fact that I was able to convert over a blog with a lot of articles and something that had a lot of custom code, which was going to hit a lot of edge cases was honestly pretty impressive. But again, I would wait. If you wanna use Astro, do it on a small project. But if you're gonna convert over something large, just wait until it's a stable release. They're constantly pushing out new updates. And I know for a fact, by the time that it reaches stable, I'm going to have a bunch of breaking changes in my app because I'm in the beta version and things are going to change by the time it gets to stable. And dealing with that is not fun. If I didn't have to switch, I would wouldn't. But because of the fact that Gatsby was constantly breaking, I had to switch and Astro was about as good of an experience as I could ask for, for being such an early development product. Now, if you're interested in checking out my blog, I'll have it linked down below. I have over hundred articles on there and I try to release a new one every single week. So it's definitely something you want to check out. With that said, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.